Hello everyone, welcome back to Baloch Dev Tech YouTube channel. Hi, I am Norman Nisa and today we have an exciting tutorial for you. In this video, we will be building an order tracking app using Flutter and Google Maps. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Here is a quick overview of what we will be covering today. Uh, so we will be covering uh, the polylines, how, how can we draw polylines uh, on Google Maps and we will be getting the current location and we will be just showing custom markers on our google maps and yeah we will show you uh, how uh, uber's uh, map or the food panda maps um, are working how how we can track the uh, marker or how a marker will move uh, from source to destination so yeah, uh, let's just begin uh, with our code. So I have already created a project here. Uh, so in our um, this project, I have just created a order tracking page dot dart here. I have just uh, uh, used or added the source location and destination location coordinates and I have just uh, initialized, initialized a Google Map controller and on the escape hold I have done nothing just used a, a center widget to show a text on the screen and yeah I have already created a, a constant file which I have just implemented my Google uh, API key so you can get your Google API key by Google Map console here and uh, go to the um, your browser and just go to console.google uh, console.cloud.google.com and just sign in or sign up from your Google account so I have already defined or uh, overviewed this whole Google Cloud Map console so if you have not familiar with this uh, Google Cloud just go ahead and watch my previous videos and I have explained each and everything how can we get our um, API key how can we enable APIs in uh, Google Cloud so in today we, in today's video we need to uh, enable our direction API to make our polyline work so be, sh be sure and uh, this is important uh, you should uh, first enable this directions API from your Google uh, Cloud Console so yeah after that I have uh, just installed some packages here so uh, which are uh, flutter polyline points which will help us to draw uh, polylines on our Google map and I have used the location package which will um, help us to get the current location and I have just used the Flutter SVG so it will uh, help us to use the SVG um, files in our Flutter applications so the last which is Google Maps Flutter which is very important and it is uh, uh, required uh, to be installed so to show how Google Map on your application and yeah I have also provided the paths of my assets and the icons which I have already added into my project so here you go the assets I have created a folder in the name of assets and I have just added some uh, images here so you can download these images or the PNG files from internet also so if you want I will be providing these and here I have just created a pile folder with the name of icons so yeah, I have just provided this assets path into my pubspec.yaml file to uh, use this icon into my uh, Flutter application. So yeah, now let's just move uh, to writing code where I will be just 
calling my Google map on the screen so yeah uh, let's just uh, remove this center widget for now and just replace it with our uh, Google map so Google map yeah um, so let's just provide the initial camera position we will be just calling the camera position here and it requires a target so let's just provide late and link and just provide the uh, hover source um, location longitude and latitude here so i'll be just calling my source location dot latitude and a source location dot longitude yeah great um, now i'll be just saving this and you will be seeing a map on the screen see but what it is um, zoomed out and you are seeing the whole world uh, from here so let's just give it a zoom um, level to it which will be 14.5 i guess it will be fine yeah and hot restart it again so yeah great so now now let's see how our maps uh, will look so yeah yeah now it's looking great so let's just put two markers um, one for our source and the other one for our uh, destination so the both um, area should be visual on our map by using our marker so let's just add the markers here on our google map so i'll be using the markers property and yeah which are the marker and marker needs a marker id so here i will be just providing marker id which will be source and yeah uh, it also needs a position to be which position it should be shown so i'll be just calling my source location latitude and the source location uh, longitude here uh, yeah i'll be saving this and i'll be creating another one for my uh, destination so i'll be just copying this testing this and just change the id to destination and i'll be providing my destination destination and yeah now i'll be saving this again and we'll auto restart the application yeah now we will be seeing two markers on our google map so yeah one is for this source and the other one is for destination so now how can we draw a polyline between these two destinations so let's just go and first create uh, a simple list of type late and long and then just create our function so we are here just just here we will be just creating a list of type late and long here and yeah which will be um, our poly coordinates poly points coordinates poly line coordinates and initialize it with empty and yeah now let's just create function to draw poly lines on our map uh, from source to destination basically yeah we will be just creating a function which is void get to get poly points i guess which should be okay poly points yeah 
here it will be a sync function. Async. Yeah, good. Um, now I will be just initializing my poly points from our uh, poly points package which we have just installed. So let's just call that poly points here, poly points, and initialize it with poly points. And I will be initializing it with poly points. Okay, and yeah, we are done now. I will be just calling the poly result here, poly results. Yeah, which will be poly results, poly uh, results. Yeah, great. Now I have initialized uh, and two instances of poly points and poly uh, result. So sorry. Here we have to just make it away for sometimes. Um, and we will be just poly uh, calling our this poly line points and just use our get route between coordinates. So, yeah, this function requires our API key. So, I'll be just providing it, which I have just initialized or Initialize this in my constant dot dot file. So I have just provided my Google API. So you have to provide your own API. So here we need the source. So we will be just providing our source uh, coordinates. So let's just provide them by the point, let length, and the length latitude will be coming from our source location, which is latitude. And again, we will be just calling our source location for our longitude too. And yeah, now what will be the destination? So we will be also calling our destination here, which will be the destination dot latitude and the destination dot longitude. So So yeah, now we will be checking for our uh, points if there are some points. So we will be just adding these coordinates into our uh, this list. So yeah, now we will be just checking if poly result poly result dot is not empty. Poly result points dot is not empty. So let's just, uh, if it is not empty, so just um, add all the coordinates into our this list. So yeah, we will be using her for each for this. So you can use for loop also, whatever choice you need, you can do that. We'll be using the for each for result. So which is poly result poly result dot points and yeah for each we will be just adding our so I'll be adding a question some column here basically yeah which will be point latitude points and just go to head to our uh, polyline coordinates dot head and just add the values here so which value which value we should which value should be added whatever value is stored in this point variable just add all the coordinates to um, this list which is let length and points dot latitude points dot longitude and now yeah we're done so I'll be just saving this here and I'll be also calling my set state when uh, state and I'll be calling my this function into my init function. So 
So, yeah. Now I will be just providing my uh, polylines into my Google Map, which is polylines. Polyline, and it also takes a, a ID as we have just used marker. It is the same as it is, which is polyline ID. And here I will be just. Uh, Typing the routes. So, yeah. Now we will be just uh, using our date list which we have just created, which was our polygon coordinates. And yeah, now we will be just already starting it and just see if our polylines are being drawn on our Google Map or not. Yeah, great. We have got a polyline on our Google Map, but so let's the black color is looking so weird. So let's just change it. Uh, so we can change it by using the color property, and let's just use our primary color, so which we have just um, and this primary coming primary color is coming from our this constants class, which we have just already defined it there and just set the weight to 6 and just save it and yeah now it's looking beautiful yeah so we have learned how to create a polyline on our google maps so now now exciting part comes so we will be getting the user location uh, so we will be getting the current location basically not the user location so uh, and yeah this is so much disturbing yeah so we will be just calling the and getting the getting uh, the current location so we will be just doing that by just creating a uh, location data instance and it will be the current location yeah great and it can be now so we will be just adding this so we will be just importing it. and yeah we are good to go now we will be creating a function for getting the location so i'll be just creating void get current location and it will be as a function yeah good now we will be just calling our location location and it will be initialized with location basically I have just created an instance of location here mm, which will be location yeah and now we will be getting location dot get location from the location and if it is done then we will be going to the then part which is a future function so obviously we will get the then function also uh, to perform some actions on that so we will be coming on the then action part so i'll be changing this value and name it to location to identify it uh, so basically that's there so now i'll be just initializing my current location with this location so uh, we have got our current location here so basically okay now we will be just uh, showing um, a marker for current location also so let's just create uh, another marker for our current location which is current location and we will be getting the 
longitude and latitude uh, from our current location. So basically, we will be getting them from current location, which will be using the null check current location. Uh, yeah and we are done with heading marker to have a current location just uh, let's go to start it so our replication got crushed so let's uh, restart it again so yeah in our sources location or in our destination location so we can also just call our uh, source location here which will be final so here also we will be calling that to destination location and yeah we are good to go so let it be and here um, on the top we have uh, just uh, created a controller Google Map controller so let's just use this controller uh, to control our map uh, while the map is moving so it should control the step so we will be using on map created and just call our controller here so which was our controller this was computer so yeah controller dot complete and we will be just passing this controller great so now let's just uh, set the camera position to our current location rather than um, uh, setting it to with our source location so we will be just adding it yeah current location great and here we will be also posting the current location and I'll be saving this and yeah now I'll be out restarting it again so let's see what will happen So we are getting some kind of error, but why we are getting the error? Um, let's just check it. Yeah, so we have not called our uh, this get location class on our init function. So let's just call that and or we start it again. So we will not be getting this kind of error. So we are getting this error because the current location is empty so to resolve this kind of errors we will just put a check here so if current location is empty uh, is equal to null then just uh, show our text on the screen which is the text of loading simple yeah and if it's not, then just show the Google map. Let me put the constant and I'll be saving this. And see, now we will be seeing a loading message rather than that error, red screen error message. So, yeah, I will be just out here starting this. So, yeah, we will just use our set state to rebuild our screen. So, uh, if we get the user location so screen should um, be rebuilded so yeah we have also got our um, current location and source and destination so now let's see 
how can we move the current location from source to uh, destination location so basically here we will be just using our controller to manage this section so let's just do that for um, yeah we will be just calling our uh, controller here so basically we'll be just calling it when we get our location and we will just call our google map controller uh, google map controller and is equal to how it and controller dot future yeah then we will just use the on location change so if in look if the location of the current uh, address is changed so it will be just notified and rebuild the um, screen so here we will be just using the uh, on location change which is coming from location dot on location changed here and it will just listen uh, it will just listen so yeah we will be just calling this event to new location basically yeah now the current location will be uh, this location new location great now we will be just animating the camera when this current location address changes we will be also moving our camera on the basis of this current location so we will just use the google map controller dot animate camera animate camera and camera update which got new camera position and the camera position which will be our uh, let and link here and we will be just providing our new location longitude and latitude new location dot latitude new location dot longitude great and yeah we will be also using the safety state here to just rebuild the the uh, state when a new location appears or the location is location changes so basically it is not moving now so how can we move it so uh, come in the emulator part so we will be just using the map of this android emulator basically so i'll be just coming here and you will get the location here and uh, we will be just using this map coordinates too so we will be just adding our source uh, to Google Plex, so just copy this coordinates, uh, these coordinates to the source location. Yeah, now again, just come here. You can also save the point. I have already saved it, so you can just pay, uh, click the save point. The point will be saved. So yeah, now I will be just calling my destination. So yeah, we will be just copying these coordinates also and pasting it to our destination mode so yeah we are done with the coordinates so now you can also save this destination too so i have just already saved it now just move to the route scape and yeah now we will be just calling the uh, searching microsoft silicon Willy and I will be just going to the direction and I will be just going to searching the Google Plex here and yeah now we will be setting the uh, repeat playback to true which will be on and we will be setting the speed also and now I will be just clicking uh, to play around so it will moves accordingly so we will be seeing this on our emulator uh, if it is moving or not so let's just check it i'll be already starting it first so let's see yeah we have not set the camera position 
uh, zoom level so basically let's just uh, set it zoom to 14.5 and I'll be saving this again and yeah let's also start this again so yeah you see the current location is moving so let's just zoom it to show you guys how it is basically moving see the location is moving basically yeah great it's working fine for now so now 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 let's just head our customs custom markers uh, so how can we do that so if you remember that in our previous video lecture we have just uh, used the byte data to show the custom uh, markers on the screen so but in this video we will be just taking these uh, asset images and uh, showing them on our google map so basically we will be just creating three variables of type bit data bit data and I will be just naming it source icon is equal to bit map yeah. bit map descriptor and default marker and uh, now I'll be just copying this and just changing the name uh, to destination icon destination icon and yeah and which will be the current current location icon and yeah we just set all the variables to the department so now we will be just defining our function to set the custom markers so basically it will be a void function and a set custom markers icon which will be a async function async and yeah so basically we will be just calling the bitmap descriptor which will be getting from assets so we will get the images from our assets board so here we will be just calling the configuration part which will be image the configuration dot empty and here we will be just providing the uh, so I'll be just copying the path here from here. So let's just copy, uh, copy relative path, and we will just paste it here. So let's just change this to this, basically. Yeah, we are done. I'll just say is adding the semicolon here and just set like this and now now i will be just uh, calling the then function here so yeah now i will be just changing this to a icon so i will be just uh, changing uh, initializing this icon to my this icon which is source icon is equal to icon I'll be saving it and I'll be just copying and pasting it two times for my destination icon and uh, current location icon so yeah copy this and just add the destination one here which is destination and I'll be using the page 
for my current use current location and here I will be calling this nation icon and here I will be calling my current icon current location icon so yeah now let's just go to google map and in the marker section we will call our icons so icon which is the current location so we will be just calling our current location icon current location icon and yeah so here we will be just adding the comma set this and here we will be using the icon and here we will be using the source icon source icon and also we will be doing the same with the destination one uh, which will be a icon and the destination icon yeah great now i will be just calling my uh, set icon function into my uh, init state so yeah just do that and auto start the application but what we starting the application basically we will see how our custom icons on the screen that we have got from our asset images so let's just wait for that uh, and yeah we have got our customs icons um, from the asset images and there you have it experts we have successfully built an order tracking app using flutter and google maps uh, we have learned how to set up the project integrate google maps draw polylines track real-time location and use custom marker icons from asset images i encourage you to explore the source code link in the description and experiment with your own app uh thank you so much for joining me today if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave a comment below and as always subscribe for more exciting tutorials like this until then happy coding